All right, in this video, we're gonna cover working with titles, just like that right there. And I'm gonna go over all the basics, but we're not gonna get into the GT Title Editor, which is the brand new editor for creating your own titles. That deserves its own video. So let's just look high level at adding titles and managing them inside of vMix. Titles are great because they allow you to show specific information. And so for example, if we hit that add input, okay, I'm gonna bring up two different titles here. We hit the title option, and then let's bring up a ticker. So we'll do two different types. We'll do a ticker, and we'll do a regular lower third here. And then let's just bring in a video so we can have something to put it on top of. All right, so titles are usually, usually use a channel of overlay to put it on top of that video. And when we right click, we can hit title editor. And title editor allows us to edit what is in the title. So title editor is very important and it's something that you'll definitely be using a lot of as you use vMix. Here we can edit like the headline, for example. So you can kind of see the headline over there and on the right hand side a bit. So if I change this and just say example, it's going to change what shows up in the, the title itself in vMix. So that's great. So we can change the headline and the description and say, you know, example two. So now we have the ability to quickly and easily, you know, edit and change titles. So that's the first step, right? And so I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and show kind of both sides of this. So we have the ability to change the font. So we can do that by clicking that little A button there and choosing between you know all the great different fonts that are available. Let's just choose a different one just to to show the example. We can click plus and minus to change the size of it. We can click the colors here to change the color of it. And it shows you, you have a lot of choices for changing and editing the information. Now we're not gonna play with the ticker settings because this is not a ticker, but we will look at a ticker next. Data sources is the ability of something that, that's pretty advanced, so we're gonna look at that in an upcoming video, but that is mapping data from a Google Sheet or a JSON file or something of that nature and routing it directly into your title so it always has the most up-to-date information. And then there's a spell check. Now, we'll look at a countdown title as well and these countdown timer options here. But the next option that I wanna show is these plus and minus buttons down here. So the plus and minus buttons are really important because for many times, now I hadn't used this feature maybe until two or three years into using vMix, but I really enjoy it now. So I'm just gonna put my name, uh, let's see, Paul Richards and Stream Geeks to give us our first example. And I'm gonna hit plus. Now what happens is, is when we hit that, it updates the titles. So let's make one for Tess. Tess, oh, sorry. Let's keep that, Paul Richards. Hit the plus button again so we have a new one for Tess. Okay, Tess Protesto. And then she's Stream Geeks as well. And then we'll create one more for Michael Luttermoser. And what we're doing is we're making entries for quick and easy recall. So now we can just click a button down here and it switches the name in the title very quickly and easily. So those are super popular and valuable, especially if you have a lot of speakers at the same day, you can switch the information that's going into the titles. Very great. So that is important. And so the next thing that we'll just briefly take a look at is a ticker. Now a ticker generally shows information at the bottom. So if we right click the ticker, we have this ticker settings option that gives us just a little information about the duration of the ticker. We also can obviously change all of this text. This is a ticker and it's awesome. And it essentially just plays, you know, in a loop round and round. So you can see it at the bottom there. Now this ticker in particular has a title. 
So we can change the title, ticker example, and our ticker's working pretty well. So that's the way a ticker works. And again, we're using an overlay. If you remember from our last multi-view example, we could just build it directly in and not need the overlay channel, right? You just kind of tying in our last knowledge. Um, we have the ability to look, to create our own custom um, titles with GT Title Editor. It's a little advanced, so we're going to save that for its own video coming soon. But this allows you to import Photoshop files and manage all of the animations and graphics inside of what vMix offers. And then finally, I want to show just a couple more uh, titles here. I'd like to show a countdown title. So let's do a timer here. Countdowns are pretty popular, uh, especially for live streams. So when we want to do a countdown, uh, we essentially need to count down to the start of our live stream, let's say. Well, we can click the settings button and we can give it a duration. So let's say it's one minute until our live stream is going to start. We click one minute, we click play, and I guess I just clicked, sorry, one second. I need to do one minute here. And we'll go ahead and click play and boom, it's gonna count down to, count down 60 seconds. Now that is part of this overlay. Let's see if I can show it to you here, right here. Oops, sorry, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it a little better. So that is this overlay here in the corner. So we're editing the countdown inside of this ticker here, this, this countdown timer. And of course, we could go into this countdown timer and go into the main and kind of move where it is, make it bigger so it's easier to see, for example, and put it maybe in the top, top left. So just a couple examples of how to use titles. So you right click a title, go into the title editor, and you can change it. It's pretty much that simple. You can go to add titles, look at all the great titles that are available, and you can even add custom ones using the GT title editor that we will look at in an upcoming video. That's it. You know how to make and use titles now in vMix. We'll look at the GT title editor in an upcoming video soon.